Hey guys, welcome back to Alternative Inverts again. So today we are going to be looking at the Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, also known as the GBB or the Green Bottle Blue. They are a good beginner spider, so uh, this may be an interesting video for some of you newer keepers as well as some of the experienced keepers in the hobby because of just how stunning and beautiful they are. It's definitely one that everybody needs uh, in the collection at some point. So. Uh, first of all, we are going to be saying a massive thank you and also a big shout out to Amy from Pet Rock and Roll. Uh, now, Amy has sent us a mature male green bottle blue, which we've got in this small tub here, uh, to pair with our adult female. Now, we have paired our adult female before. She did drop us an egg sac. However, two days before the egg sac was due to be pulled, she decided she wanted to eat it. Uh, and I did show you that in a previous video as well, the remainder of the sack. Without further ado, let's take a look at the GBB. I'll put some information down below and we'll get this girl rehoused. So first things first, we are going to need some substrate in this. So let's get some substrate into this tub. Uh, now I am using my Irish moss peat again. I found that with the Westland topsoil, um, and it's not only myself that had this either, but I had... Um, maybe I had a bag, a bad bag of it, I'm not sure, uh, but I ended up with some mites in the enclosure for our um, Carabina Versicolor, which you may have seen from a video, uh, a previous video. If not, it is going to be coming up soon. Now, they're not predatory mites. They aren't the mites that hang around on the Chalicerae. They are quite big. They're quite fast as well. So they're not a danger to the tarantula, but it's still not nice to have in your enclosure. And it also does help retain moisture. And we'll put the rest back in there and close up the viv. They are quite an arid species, so they don't need to be kept on moist substrate all the time. They do like it quite dry. Um, when you are conditioning, I do try to mimic the uh, seasons that they do have in the wild. Um, and when I conditioned before, uh, I did actually soak one half of the enclosure and then I did the same again um, when they were ready to drop. I soaked one half of the enclosure, increased the humidity slightly, put them onto the, the, um, the bottom shelf at around 23 degrees. As soon as that substrate starts drying out that little bit, um, that's when she started, decided she wanted to drop her egg sac. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the cork, piece of cork bark that she's sitting on outside of the enclosure that she's in at the moment. That way it's got a webbing on a little bit, might make her feel that a little bit more secure. Let's get the girl into a catch cup. So there's our female in here and I will just plonk her down in there for now. Now I have gave her a few inches of substrate. Um, and I've just gave her a starter burrow down here which she may use, she may not use but either way being in this little bit bit of a bigger tub it'll give the male a chance to run off if she does try and go for him GBB females have, are quite well known for being quite um, aggressive towards the males especially when trying to pair uh, whereas this female whenever I've paired her before she's not actually been too bad I've not seen any aggression with her so on the one video, uh, if you check the tag up in the top, you'll be able to see one of our old pairing videos. Um, I did pair her up a few times before she dropped an egg sac, but I recorded it and released it once for you guys. And you can just see she walks right past the male. Let's get her out. We've just got to start a burrow down here enough floor space I will add a water dish but here is the beauty which is absolutely stunning some of those colorations yeah I'm all in Brody on the line I'm tapping in got out here pulling the strings for me a girl on the line she's feeling me preoccupied by the motivation put in the time pay the entry fee bro on the rise yeah he kind of nice inside of my mind no one's real as me lately life has been gorgeous wake up the clear my eyes hit record praise up to god I ain't chasing no bitch swinging the miss got me hitting these licks I get the orders don't get it distorted 
Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I got a whole lot, but somehow I want more of it. Yeah, I want to tour and put on for the soil. Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us? Now they drop me the pin with the cord and they catch me running through the ordinance. Remember we couldn't afford the whip. Pushing the scraper, that shit was so ages. We blowing on grapes for the flavors. All of a sudden we major, still independent by no label. For now I'm going hard enough that the streams will lead to a house by the beach. All of this done with the speech. Filling my pockets for now and for later. I want the picket for some sign of the neighbors. I used to skip out on the payments. Nowadays I tax for the neighbor. Dog on the line, you ain't tapping in. I'm staying clear, fake rapper friends. Kamikaze on a traffic cam. Only one shot to navigate the labyrinth of keeping it late, burn it down to the ash. My life ain't much more than imagine. I got where I'm at with the passion. Trade it all to live it backwards. Pray we ain't make it through the night. Hope oh, we ain't make it through the night. You can see it. When you look into my eyes, yeah. when you look into my eyes, you can see it. I'm crying all day. Life been going my way. Life been going my way. But I'm crying all day. Life been going my way. Life been going my way. Yeah, the word on my back. Like Just added ourselves a nice little water dish down here. And we will wet one area. The enclosure. We will add us some springtails into this tub. Springtails are like basically your cleanup crew for anything bad inside of your tarantula enclosure or any sort of bioactive setup at all or anything. Basically, any uh, excrement that the tarantula drops, any poo, these guys will eat it. Any mold, these guys will eat it. Any bits of le uh, leftover feeders, these guys will eat it. Now, they breed better in. Um, damp condition so I've just put them over in the wet area and you'll also find a lot of the time once you've added them in they'll congregate around your water dish and you might know it's a load of them on top of the water so they don't sink they can just basically walk on water and they'll breed on there as well um, and yeah we'll boost this girl's temps and see if we can uh, try and get her to pair in a few weeks so that's now our female sorted. Let's uh, quickly take a look at the male that was given to us uh, from Amy at Pet Rock and Roll. And also we've got a massive thank you to Mini Rock as well, uh, because Mini Rock, which is Amy's daughter, has also done us some drawings and sent us some drawings through as well. And we've got some stickers. One lot I can't show you though, but we have some others. And also another little gift as well from Mini Rock. So you need to take a look for these guys. This is Little Mitza. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it, Amy, correct me if I'm wrong. This is Little Mita, this is uh, Amy's um, green bottle bl blue mature male that she has sent over to me. Come on little guy. Gently does it, there we go. Give him a uh, little Mario worm. Now I will be taking some of uh, his webbing when he puts a little bit more webbing down as well. Part of his sperm web. I'll be taking that and moving it into the female's enclosure and put it near her hide as well. Just so they know that there is um, some presence from the opposite sex around. Again, it's not something that you have to do, this is just something that I tend to do. And there we go, he's still eating, bless him. Now mature males will carry on eating for a while. Eventually, they do go off the food, but it's normally towards their end. the end of their life. But he's taking that down no problem, having a nice little battle with that. So hopefully Amy we can do you proud and we can get you a nice um, egg sack from this little dude with our female. So there you have it, how beautiful are they, both the female and also the mature male as well. Um, now I'm not sure, obviously, because I'm recording, uh, what information I've put down in the bottom, but basically it is an overview of this species. 
Uh, they are fairly good uh, species for a beginner. We had one quite early in the collection uh, when we first started keeping tarantulas. Uh, they are a uh, South, Amer uh, South American species from Venezuela. Um, they do like to be kept in quite a dry enclosure. They don't do too well with humidity. Um, however, when you are looking to breed, obviously you have to change things up a little bit and try and mimic um, the natural seasons as close as possible really. But if you're not breeding, quite simply keep them on a fairly dry substrate. Maybe just overfill the water dish, make sure they've got a water dish at all times. They do have urticating setae or urticating hairs uh, on their abdomen. Um, the male, he tends to be, I mean his male, he tends to flip quite a lot whenever I go into the tub, fill up his water or try and feed him. He does try to, to kick hairs quite a lot. Whereas with my female, I don't think, I think I've ever seen, a, ever seen a kick hairs really. Maybe when she was a little bit smaller, we did have her from a tiny, tiny sling. So uh, at some point she's got to have, I'm sure, but it, they're not too bad really. It's not as bad as like uh, what you'd get from your Terraphosa species, like your Sturmy, your Blondie. Um, or even anything else like a Pamphobetus. Their leg span tends to be around around 16 centimeters um, with, for, for a diagonal leg span. Body span, you're probably looking at around. Behaviour wise, they are quite docile. They're not really a, a defensive species, aggressive or whatever you want to call it. They are pretty docile. They like to just be left alone, they mind their own business. They're not too fast, they're quite slow moving. Um, they are beautiful, they have absolutely beautiful colorations. They put down a lot of web, so if you are looking for a tarantula, um, you're a fairly new keeper, you, you want a nice docile tarantula that's gonna be a good display tarantula and put a lot of webbing down in their enclosure, this is definitely a tarantula for you. They are absolutely stunning, and the way that they decorate their enclosure is phenomenal. Um, now, I haven't really got an example to show you because I've been keeping mine in this box that I use for breeding and I've just moved her into another box that I'm going to be using her for, for breeding in but um, as a permanent enclosure before we started breeding her last season or attempting to breed her last year uh, we had her in a uh, alien versus predator tank which I built um, I might have released a video for it I can't really remember quickly with the mature male we did also receive some more stuff from Amy so and mini rock so I do want to say a massive thank you to Mini Rock for my little troll. I haven't seen these little guys in years. Thank you for the little troll, Mini Rock. That's awesome. Uh, also, we've got some pictures that have been sent in from Mini Rock as well. There is the one. <laughs> there is the second. And also there is a, th a third with a nice bowl of dog food. <laughs> Bless. So Mini Rock, thank you so much for those. They are amazing. I hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, give us that thumbs up. It does mean a lot when we do get that. And uh, also drop us a comment down below. Make sure you hit subscribe button if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to see when we upload again. If it is a premiere and I do decide that I want to talk to you lovely, lovely people whilst we all watch the video for the first time together, please, if you could, at the end of the premiere, refresh the video and again, drop us a comment in the usual comment section. If you do want to support the channel further, you can also check out our membership program via the join button below, where we have multiple tiers available starting from £2 a month. But on that note, guys, as always, make sure you look after yourselves. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.